Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop, where we talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ, and today we got Jules in the house. Hey, hey. Woo, Lego. In another episode of Man vs. Wild, someone decided to bring an opossum on board a flight as their service animal. Check out the story. She's always sleeping on her hands. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. <laughs> <laughs> Zitara and her owner, Gerald Tottenhan, back home in Costa Mesa after being stranded for days in Texas. What is that? Man, <laughs> yo, that old possum is nagging, yo. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that looks like, so, 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 some of your friends out there just be out there smacking their gum and they feel like... <laughs> oh, I hate that. <laughs> Tottenhan says he did his homework, checked with JetBlue to make sure it was okay to fly with his eight-month-old pet opossum. They said, you know, as long as she's in an approved pet carrier that fits underneath the seat, you know, during takeoff, then then you're fine. Tottenhan says Zatara was an instant hit at the JetBlue ticket counter in Long Beach. But they're like, oh my gosh, one lady was, you know, a little... Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> what is that? You're playing with that tail. I got that Ooh, opossum tail fetish. No. You know about that. Ooh. Why is he caressing it like that? Because like... he loves the opossum. Okay. At the Jeppu counter, one of the ladies asked if she could hold her. I said, yeah, of course. Again, Tottenhan says they get through TSA. They're on board the plane. But during a half hour delay, he's pulled aside and told Zatara is not welcome. JetBlue says our crew members in Austin witnessed the opossum come out of its carrier and saw that it was not a cat or dog. Dang, that's some discrimination. Discrimination against opossums, like okay? You, you only accept cats and dogs. Y'all a bunch of possumists. <laughs> Tottenham left wondering why JetBlue said it was okay earlier. And it, it ticked me off pretty good because did nobody at no point in time did anybody confront me and say hey that's not a cat or a dog you can't fly with it <laughs> tick 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 yeah, tick me off pretty good come on opossum guitar guitar get in here man get your eggs come on right there come on down the south we're gonna have myself a time <laughs> i like how he corrected himself like he's like did nobody and then he's all did anybody <laughs> that's the little troublemaker right there his travel advice for other opossum owners? Well, I would recommend leaving your possum at home. Uh, you think? But who's like, gonna... like, no, but, but he said it like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should let Katara go play with her other, with, with her brother possum. You know, Jingle Bells. I like call him Jingle Bells. He makes me happy every time I walk around. Like, he knows, he know, bro, leave it at home. Yeah. Stay safe, my friends. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. Presents. And speaking of unusual flights, check out this drunk flight passenger and his reaction when he tried to storm the cockpit and was unsuccessful. Why did you jump? Oh, <laughs> is that saran wrap? What is that? <laughs> They took the saran wrap from the meals on the probably, plane and probably. they wrapped it. That's how they restrained the man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why is he so mad? I feel like I just got done watching Jerry Springer. <laughs> Now we all like to give back to charitable organizations, but unfortunately this homeless agency is taking money from those who are donating and using it to entertain themselves with strippers. Oh, oh, that looks like Lizzo. Wait, she, yeah, she, yeah, I, yeah, I thought she looked like Lizzo. I was like, oh, is that Lizzo? Lizzo, is that you? you, you went she from, got inspired. You, you went from performing at Lakers games to now you're performing at homeless <laughs> conferences. Good for you, girl, good for you. Giving back to the community. This is all of the video we can show you. The rest we had to blur. Yo, that is a big blur. They they really wanted to make sure y'all didn't see anything. Whoa, whoa. This is the strip show transgender performer Beyonce Black St. James put on for homeless advocates attending all homes annual conference at South Seattle College. Beyonce, oh! Beyonce Black St. James. <laughs> I what? sound like a historical prophet if I ever knew one. I know, that's a, like, what? Where'd you get that name? And it's almost incredible to believe that this is funded by taxpayer dollars 
uh, right here in King County. But like, That's did they problem. vote for this? Like, how does she I, think I, that this is a good idea? Like, I, I don't know. I mean, get a I mean the like, people look pretty happy. I know they're having a good they, old they time. They look pretty happy. Yeah. So I'm just wondering, like, how they came up with this versus like some like a singer versus like a comedian or like a clown or juggling clown. Anger over the issue boiled over during a Seattle City Council meeting to discuss the creation of a first ever regional homelessness authority. <laughs> that man said <laughs> he's not even paying attention <laughs> he got that stole wall face you know when, when <laughs> women are speaking and like men just like tune out after two seconds <laughs> and now we transition from strippers to prostitutes so apparently there's a senior home living facility in new york where Instead of getting normal entertainment like board games and things such as that, seniors are indulging in prostitution and drugs. A spring stroll through the park for Richard Holloway. He enjoys nature. Some of his neighbors here at this Inglewood Senior Complex enjoy other activities. Police say illegal activities. I love how he tries to set it up. Other activities. <laughs> this tonight on Hard Copy. A lot of nonsense going on. The nonsense Richard is talking about? Police arrested 75-year-old James Parham and his fifth-floor neighbor, 66-year-old Cheryl Cheney. <laughs> Whoa! Yo, she looked like one of them Bernstein bears. Wait, you know the Bernstein bears? There's like four of them. Like daddy, mama, sister, brother. That That's that's the, that's Mama Bernstein bear. Yo, that's a burn. Look at that. Bernstein bear. That's Mama Bernstein. Oh, God. Mama Bernstein. <laughs> Police say the couple used their apartments to sell crack cocaine to young people who lived outside the complex, as well as seniors inside the complex. Ooh. That's a wild. Ooh. Seniors getting high for crack cocaine. You, you trying to accelerate your death? But I mean, have you ever been into a senior citizen complex? Boring. Boring. And I know they want some fun. Seniors yeah. didn't have some fun too. Like, how are they trying to get through that? In this particular case, uh, obviously the. Uh, the seniors were supplementing their income uh, in a way that wasn't desirable for the rest of the people in the building. <laughs> it wasn't desirable for the rest of the people in the building. I'm only trying to say this in the fanciest way possible. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, bro. 75 year old Parham is also accused of providing prostitutes. Look at him. He's high. He is high. <laughs> he was in the devil's lettuce. Woo. A senior citizen let us police say the prostitutes police say the <laughs> prostitutes damn bro did we just get you out of asu did you just graduate from college you just left the frat last year prostitutes <laughs> dang my guy they weren't just young people from the neighborhood they're actually some of the senior citizens who lived here <laughs> who lived <laughs> here <laughs> yeah <laughs> reporting live for kevin thomas who visits his loved ones right. here he still doesn't understand why. Why they wait so late on in life to start doing stuff that should have did years ago and shouldn't have touched, period. What? Period. <laughs> period. Why you over here sound like an old school 90s rapper from the NYC? Why do you wait this late? Yeah, so, so, so he's okay if they started doing it like before, just don't do it now? They probably did do it before. Exactly. They just, they just continuing because they miss it. For Richard, he says the police have made this complex a safer place. Thank God this administration is taking care of it. Well, I bet everyone hates him now. Like, I know, he just snitched. Yeah. Bro, you the neighborhood snitch They're now. Like, Yo, you probably partook in some of this Dude, they too. might they might be coming for you now. You better be careful. <laughs> These seniors ain't playing. These ain't no normal seniors. These are drug-using, prostitute-having, <laughs> prostitute-having strippers. <laughs> Stay safe, my friends. Now, for a lot of us on the West Coast, we usually fear shark attacks. But don't be afraid when this new penis worm comes into your periphery. We really never know what we might find when we're out on one of our naturalist led field trip adventures. <gasps> oh, wow. God, that wow. thing is moving, <laughs> slithering. That, like, look, that, look, that, looks like a dead, that, that looks like a dead, uncircumcised penis. Woo! Ooh, man, that looks like a big old sausage. A big old sausage. <laughs> how big is that thing? <laughs> yeah, how, what would you say in your estimation? Uh, I read that they're 10 inches, actually. How about the people that eat these things? Yeah, Joe Rogan, bring back Fear Factor. First dish, innkeeper worm. No, but they actually they actually um, have these in Japan, but they eat them, and they said that they taste kind of sweet. Well, I'll let you taste test that, Juliana. <laughs> We could probably go to the beach. They're probably yeah. still out there. They said the they used some sesame oil on it. Oh, God. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. So, spices. so if you're looking for a new fetish, you just found it. 
And now it's time for the Viral Victor of the Week. The Viral Victor of the Week goes to the physics teacher who's making science fun again. Check it out. Dr. David Wright's classroom at Tidewater Community College in Virginia Beach is full of energy. <laughs> I've got some energy. Whoa. Yo, he is moving. How old is this man? Yo, yo, I know what happened. He went to that senior citizen home across the, <laughs> across the way. He took some of them drugs uh, and he's moving now. I'm like pleased that I got energy. Where do you get all your energy from? I don't know. It's just there. I don't know. Drugs. <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> bro, you went to that apartment where they were slanging that drug. But it's good to show that this energetic uh, production makes a difference to students. <laughs> Okay, I, I want to know what what demonstration is this where he over here moving he a basketball with a broom? And that energy has captivated his students for more than four decades, and now it's gotten the attention of millions online. <gasps> Did he the physics teacher is doing magic tricks in class. Get this man to Vegas. Hey. Barnum and Bailey was good. Oh, we need some more teachers like this. Look at this, look at this. How many got like a buggy, his own little buggy? Look Whee! at it. Oh, oh dang. No. Dang. Be look at him. Look, Be he, yo, your man is reverse planking. Actually, he does yoga. He's, he's on a bed of nails in this one. A bed of nails? Yeah. <gasps> he is what, living what, 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 his best life. life. <laughs> yo, shout out to all the good uh, teachers out there. We need more of you. We do. Respect. Thanks for watching another episode of Pick and Pop. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Till next time. Woo! Lego. Bye.